Welcome back, dear learners. Before the ad break, we spoke of note number three, fixed tangible asset note. And here I have a fixed tangible asset note with me. And I have information that I want to go through together with you. And the information reads, some balances on the 1st of July. So the 1st of July is the beginning of the financial year. That means this financial year will end on the 30th of June. 30th of June becomes the end of this financial year. And we have land and buildings. Information B. The following transactions involving tangible assets took place during the year. Extensions were done to the shop to the value of 50000 So we did some extensions. We had an existing shop. Then we extended it. We added a new part of the building. But we did not only do extensions. We also did repairs to the value of 15000 AB Builders was paid by EFT on 15 January and it was recorded in the books of the business. So the moment we do extensions and repairs, we have to understand which of these amounts will be recorded in our fixed tangible asset note. At the beginning, we're 240,000, which is what you see here. The cost is 240 because we don't have accumulated depreciation on our Land and buildings, our carrying value would therefore be the same 240000 When we have done extensions to the property, it will come here as additions at cost, and it is 50000 So then at the end, we now need to know how much is our cost. So we then say 240000 plus the 50000 that would then give us 290000 That is your cost now at the end. And we don't have accumulated depreciation, remember, so the carrying value will remain again 290,000. Your question is, but Mr. Simbi, why are we not recording the 15,000? We do not record repairs as part of the additions. The additions will only be for the extensions, and the extensions were for 50,000. The 15,000 will not be recorded. We only record the 50,000. This 15,000 will go to the statement of comprehensive income as an expense and our operating expenses. Then we record it as repairs. Let us therefore go and now look at how do we record vehicles. All right, And then we have information here which says some balances on the 1st of July. Remember, this is your beginning. And then we are given vehicles. So this will be your cost. And then we have accumulated depreciation on vehicles. The following transactions also took place. A new vehicle was bought on credit from AA Motors on the 1st of October for 160000 and recorded in the books. Depreciation is written off on vehicles at 15% per annum on the cost price method. You have to know your depreciation methods. You have to know your depreciation methods. That if you're given the cost price method, what do you do? If you're given the diminishing balance method, what do you do? So we need to have the note where we can record our information. So at the beginning, we are told the cost is 190. So here, I have my 190. This is cost at the beginning of the year. I have accumulated depreciation, 28.5. So I come here, here's my 28.5. Now I need to get this carrying value. You have to remember that to get carrying value, we say cost minus accumulated depreciation. Cost minus accumulated. So I'll say 190 minus 28.5 gives you 161,500. That becomes the carrying value at the beginning of the year. So this part, therefore, is easy. Remember, to get carrying value, you say cost minus accumulated. It gives you the carrying value of 161,500. We are told then that a new vehicle was bought, a new vehicle. So once it's new, it becomes an addition 
all right? A new vehicle was bought, it becomes an addition. So I'll come here, then I have an addition 160. That means the cost of my vehicles will now change. It will go up because I have added additions. I have added a new vehicle with a cost price of 160. What does that mean? I'll take my 190 plus the 160, and it will now give me my 350,000. That becomes the cost at the end. I'll repeat it again. Your cost at the beginning plus the additions at cost. It will give you the cost at the end, 350. We now need to calculate this depreciation. How do we do that? We now know that we have an old, an old vehicle, an old vehicle, and the old has a cost price of 190,000. That is the old vehicle. And we also have a new vehicle. We also have a new vehicle. And the new vehicle has a cost price of 160,000. Now, when we calculate depreciation, it is very important that we remember these amounts. We are told depreciation is calculated at 15% per annum on the cost price method. That means, I will now say 190,000 multiplied by the depreciation rate of 15% multiplied by 12 over 12. This is the old. It will be there for 12 months. I want you to have your calculator and I want you to punch 190,000, multiply that by 15% and then multiply by 12 over 12. How much do you get? You should get an amount that is 28,500. 28,500. So I'll take my 28.5 and I'll bring it here. You have my 28.5. This is for the old one. Let's come to the new one. The new one is a cost price of 160,000 and my depreciation rate is 15%. All right? And then I now need to know how many months have I been having this asset. So let's begin. We know that our financial year begins in July and it ends in June. Now this new vehicle was bought in October, 1st of October. So we count October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, then June. So let's count them now. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'll come here. We had this asset for nine over 12 months, nine over 12. And then I punch that in my calculator. It will then give me 18,000, 18,000. Okay, let me give you a chance to punch that in the calculator. Want to punch that in the calculator? This is what you punch in. Remember, it's your 160,000. Your 160,000. Multiply that by 15%. All right? Then multiply that by 9 over 12. And you will get 18,000. Then you take that 18,000, you're bringing it here, 18,000. Then your total becomes 46,500. Then now, you will say, your accumulated depreciation here, 28.5, plus your depreciation here, 46.5. That is how you have your accumulated depreciation, which is now 75,000. How do you get the 75,000 again? You will say you accumulated at the beginning 28.5 plus the depreciation for the year, 46.5. And then once you add these two amounts, you have 75,000. How do you get carrying value then? Remember, it is your cost minus accumulated depreciation gives you carrying value. Very important that you are able to remember this, that you have your old as well as your new. Dear learners, let's go for an ad break and I'll see you shortly.